Everybody who's in recovery knows what happens if you stop going to meetings for a few days. You start to get a little bit anxious. You might start to not be able to sleep well. You think the world's out to get you. Um, and everybody's, you know, you're the center of the universe. Everybody's looking at you. Everybody's talking about you. You get resentful. I mean, all this stuff happens in the mind of an alcoholic who's not working a recovery program. And a doctor who doesn't know about recovery, who doesn't know um, about this stuff, isn't going to check in and say, you know, are you doing the things that you normally do to stay mentally healthy in your recovery program? So abstinence does not equal recovery, and that's not something that a lot of people know about. Therefore, recovering people should plan ahead um, when you are in acute pain or discomfort, we all want relief. And we don't make the best decisions when we want relief. You know, um, we can not often not think about future consequences when we want to feel better now. And so to the extent that you can, you should plan ahead if you're in recovery. And what that could mean is talking to your doctor when you're healthy, when you're feeling good, about what ifs. It could also mean talking to your support system about what ifs. And, it, and if you know you have a medical procedure coming up and you're going to need something that could be potentially harmful to your recovery, talking to the right people about that, planning ahead for that, whatever it means, going to more meetings, um, being more accountable, maybe even having someone else dispense your medication. There's a lot of ways that you can plan ahead. And people who are in recovery should do that when they're of sound mind and not when they're in pain or haven't been going to enough meetings. Um, so medications, new meds come out with some regularity and they're often marketed as like sort of recovery safe. And Ultram is, Ultram is an example of one that came out and was not supposed to be uh, mood altering and was supposed to be relatively safe for people in recovery. And within two years of it coming out, we found out that that wasn't necessarily the case. Quaaludes were originally marketed as a safer alternative to barbiturates. Um, even OxyContin was marketed as a less abusable opiate. And we all know how that turned out. <laughs> Pharma, the over-the-counter meds can also be dangerous. And, and your doctor may, if you go to your doctor and say, I'm having trouble sleeping, and, and you know, someone can say, go take 